internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for a video that I'm just making just to discuss with you guys what's going on with the Metal Gear Solid series. I'm already getting messages from you guys saying like, Hey, I just saw the new updated schedule! Metal Gear Solid's gone! I know Metal Gear Solid 3, the series, um, just ended on my channel. We are gonna get another really awesome video coming very, very soon. I believe on its original schedule, it's gonna be, um, tomorrow, actually, for me, so Monday we're gonna get a, um, montage through all the Codex stuff, and, uh, some extra bloopers are thrown in there, too, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, I've already changed my schedule over to basically say, there's no Metal Gear Solid series right now that I can see coming up on the channel, and the reason is, I'm just so busy with other stuff that I'm doing. I've already got other series that are basically um, taking up where uh, Metal Gear used to be in the schedule, which was on um, Mondays and Thursdays. And um, just so you guys know, um, right now, um, Pokemon Randomizer is going to be on Mondays, and on Thursday is going to be another Monster Hunter episode. So that's good for those. You guys have been asking me to, you know, make those series come out more frequently, and I can do that. I'm going to be doing that with these. Um, but I know what all you guys watch this video for is you want to know about Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, there's a lot that goes into playing um, a Metal Gear series on this channel, and um, there's a lot of weird stuff that also happens too. I basically have to play it all in advance, I have to play really, really far for you guys, obviously edit the whole thing down, and then afterwards, because I was doing like fun codex stuff and skits for you in the beginning of every episode that was relevant to that episode. Um, uh, that obviously took a lot longer, so I played through the whole thing first, and then afterwards I wrote out scripts and stuff, I got costumes and stuff ready, and I filmed the whole thing, and then I made, basically, I made the video that's going to be coming up tomorrow, like I said, the, the whole montage of it all, and then I spliced those out and put them into the episodes, rendered them, and then uploaded them, and then when they were up, I had to wait um, a month for every episode so that I could get the rights from Konami, and most of the the time, Konami just kind of ignores their requests for these things, and you just have to wait a month for, basically, if the person who owns the copyright for the claimed material doesn't reply in a month's time, you get the rights to it. So um, that's why it takes such a long time to get the Metal Gear series up, in particular, nothing else does that for me, it's just Metal Gear, which is a shame because I love doing it so much, obviously I want to keep doing it, and I have, like I said, I have played, I don't know if I said that yet, I have already played through Metal Gear Solid 4, so in one way or another, you will be getting Metal Gear 4. And I want to keep doing more of them, but the thing is, um, right now, because of how busy I am, my dilemma is figuring out, um, what do I do about those intros? Because I love doing the intros, but the thing is, there's a lot of episodes. Seriously, there's a lot. I'm going to try and pull it up here on my, um, computer just to let you guys know, like, an exact number. Because, oh shoot, I clicked on the wrong folder. Because it's a lot. And, um, let me pull this up really quickly. Woo! Okay, there are 35 episodes of from what I'm seeing right there so ha huh, that's that's a lot I mean that's a little bit more than uh, both uh, no I'm sorry all three of the other Metal Gear series actually twice as long as um, the original one and um, that's that's a lot of skits and stuff to do so I was thinking um, for sure I still want to do like a fun outro but still that takes a lot of work you know what I mean and um, I really wanted to do those intro skits because I loved doing that and um, coming up with you know new material for 35 different ones and I've already done so many Metal Gear jokes that I'm like you know I can I could do it but it's just gonna it's gonna take a lot of time so I wanted you guys input like or at least letting you know what's going on Metal Gear 4 will happen um, I'm just you know kind of stuck figuring out like okay what do I do about coming up with um, you know intro stuff do I go back to like what I did for the original series where I just kind of like do what I did in the beginning of this episode I just kind of like get startled and there's like, you know, the Metal Gear alert over me and it's just the second, which is probably for the best because Metal Gear 4's episodes are much longer. If you guys know Metal Gear 4, there's some seriously long cutscenes in that game. I'm not going to spoil anything in this video, by the way. It's it's so great that you got to go in blind uh, like I did. It was awesome. But um, so that's basically how I've been thinking about this. I'm probably going to film like a bunch of startled things and, um, you know, put them through the episodes so that you guys can still get them. And um, another thing I really wanted to talk about for Metal Gear um, is uh, the, actually the main reason I made an original video that was one of the videos that I'd lost because of the audio a long time ago. This is actually the last one I have to fix now that I think about it. Good, that audio problem is finally out of the water. But anyway, uh, what the video was about was talking about ads on Metal Gear because after, because I just explained how Metal Gear kind of gets made, 
Um, after the whole thing is finished and I get the rights back, then I tell it, okay, now I can finally monetize this. And I give it the default that I put on all my videos, which is like, you can have the generic things that pop up at the bottom that you just click X and they go away. The ones that are on the side of the video that you don't even have a choice for. And occasionally it'll pull up one of those skippable ads. I don't like any of the others. And um, that's at least like one. It'll never make more than one. That's what I tell it. And then I've been told by several people who are watching this, like, hey, what's with all the ads on this? I'm like, I don't put any ads more than usual on Metal Gear than I do on anything else. And then I saw on somebody else's computer, not mine. If I watch it as mine, I don't see them. Go on somebody else's, there's like four or five of those skippable ads in there. And I'm like, they're not even relevant, too. Some of them are like talking about diapers and stuff. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I, I would rather it be blank than that, because the, what the video was that I originally had was I went through a bunch of screenshots I took showing a comparison of Metal Gear Solid, and I showed exactly what it looks like in my analytics, showing what my, um, what I had put onto it for, um, ads and stuff, and it's identical to other videos that don't have this, so it's something kind of fishy that's going on, maybe it has something to do with Konami, maybe it has something to do with my partnership, I have no clue, but, um, there's that, I mean, I... I, I am not trying to farm it for ads, if that's what you guys are thinking, like, clearly, because it doesn't make anything. I was, there was another thing I wanted to show, like, what Metal Gear makes versus other things, which actually doesn't make sense because of all the ads that are on it, but... Anyway, there's that, so, um, it takes a really long time to get those things cleared through Konami, and, um, I, I've got to, obviously, it's, a, it's at least a month wait, assuming on the first day that I upload it, and they, uh, I, uh, put the claim in to get, uh, my own rights for the episodes, but for some reason, Something clings on and changes those ads, and it's weird because I don't know where that revenue's going, because I can tell you I'm certainly not getting it, and um, someone else is, and they're getting a lot because they put a ton of ads on it, and I don't want them to because I want you guys to just watch it and enjoy it. I'm not making this for money. I don't make anything off of this. That's why it was alerted to me that like someone tells me, hey, you, there's so many ads on here. I'm like, Metal Gear doesn't make anything. I lose money making Metal Gear episodes. But no, it still does that anyway, so I don't want to ramble about that too long, but basically I wanted to let you guys know, for one, Metal Gear Solid 4 will happen. I, I, I'm just saying, please bear with me. I'm super busy right now, and I've got to hurry up and, you know, make the intros somehow. I wanted to hear what you guys thought about it. I, I wanted to make sure that I brought that up. Also, I'm um, asking Metal Gear fans um, specifically about where to go after Metal Gear 4. So, say I get some free time. <laughs> say I get some free time, and I'm able to play the next installment. And um, a lot of you guys, like if I'd be able to go a lot quicker, <laughs> um, a lot of you guys are saying um, to jump to Metal Gear Solid 5, and then a lot more are saying, no, you got to play Peace Walker first. Like you have to play Peace Walker first because it's important for the story. And I have Peace Walker, and I have Metal Gear Solid 5, and Ground Zeroes. By the way, I was gonna play, I was gonna put Ground Zeroes into Metal Gear 5. But anyway, um, I, I will play them if you guys want. But like I said, Metal Gear takes so much effort to do for the channel. I love it so much. I will, but if one of them's not like necessary or maybe I can find like an easier way around it like maybe I can do uh, streamed events where I can basically like do you know four to six hour streamed events where I like stream Peace Walker you know instead of making episodes out of it um, maybe I'll do that I don't know but I, I gotta figure out like what I need to do for Peace Walker and specifically you guys are trying to give me like please the non-spoiler version of um, what I'm supposed to do with the ending. Supposedly you guys are saying I have to do something weird to get the real ending of Peace Walker. That's going to actually affect um, Metal Gear 5. So if someone can explain that for me, that'd be really awesome too. But anyway, yeah. Um, as you can see, I didn't even get to paint my ray yet. That's another thing I'm looking at. I'm like, I want to paint it so badly. Uh, especially after going through 4 of Metal Gear. But anyway, um, that's that's all. It's basically what's going on. It's kind of a shame. That, um, it's so much work to go through um, Metal Gear Solid, but hey, at the very least, um, the capture card is really helping a lot in terms of getting the other episodes up on time because it saves a lot of time with editing, and obviously it looks a lot better, so it's really cool. So um, at the very least, like Metal Gear Solid fans, bear with me. I, I am coming back with Metal Gear 4, and um, I really do need you guys' help for figuring out what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the Metal Gear Solid series because I'm doing this completely blind, you know what I mean? So. Um, at that, I would love to keep playing them. I'm going to play them in my own time regardless, even if you guys all said no for whatever reason. Uh, but still, just keep in mind, it does take a lot of work for another Metal Gear series, which is why I was trying to avoid Peace Walker if possible. I don't know anything about the story, but if possible, if I could just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then like go hands off, and then you know what I mean. Um, maybe I play Peace Walker in my own time, I don't know, but the thing is that's not fair to the people who are watching my series 
and don't know anything about Metal Gear and want to experience it with me. And Peace Walker might have been important, you know what I mean? So um, that's that's another point that I you know, I throw in there. But anyway, that's basically it. So anyway, all those questions for you guys, just let me know what you think down in the comments below. Obviously, I'm kind of super busy and trying to focus on other projects at the moment, which is why I changed my schedule over on my channel. Because at the very least, um, as of now, um, for a month from the time I make this video, I'm not going to have any Metal Gear coming up on the channel. And um, I am planning on uh, doing some videos for the intro stuff soon. Not full-blown skit codex stuff like I, I really want to. I love doing them. I had a bunch of old snake jokes that I wanted to do. But um, I, not at the moment. I can't do it. And um, it's, it's just really too much at the moment. I, I'm working two other jobs and uh, trying to prepare for a third that um, might be changing job number two into larger job full-time somewhere, which may or may not save me time, I don't know, but anyway, I don't want to ramble on forever, I always end up doing that for you guys, and I'm sorry, but anyway, just to give you all the information, because I, I wanted to step aside from the actual episodes and just talk to you guys, because you're the people who I'm making this for, and um, you know what you want generally, and um, you can gauge how quickly you want something to come out versus how much quality is poured into it because I really want to do my best for everything and it doesn't really bother me that I have to wait a little bit longer but some people get really upset you know or really wanted it quicker and I can do that for Metal Gear 4 so um, it's all up in the air and I'm gonna leave it up to you guys down in the comments below I loved making the codex skits for the last two but if it's too much for this one then um, you know let me know because if it's gonna if I'm gonna do codex skits it may take another two months on top of whatever I do, you know, just because it's a lot of extra work of coming up with the scripts for every single episode, filming them all, editing them down, and um, that's, I got to meet up with the guy who was going to do the uh, new Otacon, and um, so that's, that might be a really long time, so there's that I throw into it, so if you guys like are really excited of jumping into Metal Gear 5 or the newer ones, that might be a bad option, you know, we're just, we'll try and find a better option for this. And it's mainly just per tradition, because I just loved making intros for um, my Metal Gear stuff. And I'm glad I did. I had a lot of fun doing it. And unfortunately, if I have to stop it just for time's sake, then that's a shame. Maybe I'll do like some skits on it later when I got more time. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in Metal Gear Solid 4. Bye!